Oh yes, Iron Harvest. I mean, we all knew I was going to be covering this game sooner or later. And let me start off by saying that this channel will be devoted to Iron Harvest in pre and post release, which is currently aimed closer to 2019 with alphas and betas coming out the end of 2018. However, I will be doing status video updates similar to this one to keep you up to date with the current state of Iron Harvest. King Art Games are the ones developing Iron Harvest. It is inspired by a Polish artist by the name of Jakub Ruzalski. It is a world he created with his beautiful art which takes place in an alternate history, hence the plus after 1920. Now quick history lesson. The era of 1920 plus isn't the first time getting its exposure. Jakub teamed up with Stonemaier Games back in 2015 to create Scythe, a 4x board game set in this alternate history. Scythe tells a story of five factions competing over an unclaimed patch of land surrounding a mysterious factory. Iron Harvest has nothing to do with the board game Scythe other than sharing the same universe. More on that later. I hope that clarifies a few things as some people were confused why Scythe and or Iron Harvest looked the same. Anyways, the opening plot of Iron Harvest goes something like this. After World War I, farmers found a plethora of unexploded ordnance, barbed wire, weapons, shrapnel and bullets while plowing their fields, they called it the Iron Harvest. In Iron Harvest, you lead a hero character, mechs and soldiers into battle. Cover mechanics and dynamic destruction play a major role in combat. Throughout its open sandbox levels, you have to find your own way to reach the goals set by a dynamic storyline. Speaking about story, King Art Games is currently developing a massive campaign with three factions. Now, you will not be switching factions during the campaign. Let me repeat myself, you will not be switching factions. Instead, you will finish one campaign entirely before switching to a new faction. Think Warcraft 3 instead of Dawn of War 3. 21 missions in total and an overarching story. Now this immediately caught my attention as I know a lot of Dawn of War 3 players were a bit upset about the fact that they felt forced to play all three factions instead of choosing their own. So King Art Games, thank you. I will do more videos in the future pertaining details about these factions, but for now we know the three are the Saxony Empire, also known as the Altered Germany, the Polonia Republic, Altered Poland, and Rusviet altered Russia. Yo, quick sidebar, remember in the beginning when I mentioned Iron Harvest is set in the same universe as Scythe the board game? Well, the board game had five factions, three of them I already mentioned. It could be possible that in the future we will see the other two being added to Iron Harvest, which would be the Nordic Kingdoms and Crimean Kanari, however you say that, but I figured you should know. Each faction will have different units, mechs, vehicles, weapons, etc. I'm actually really excited to see what this alternate reality has in store for us, as this gives the development team some freedom and diversity based on what weapons can do or even look like. I think the biggest thing that stands out of Iron Harvest are the mechs, of course, and I'm curious to see how they will be implemented in battle other than making stuff go boom. Mechs, of course, are massive units, big enough in fact, if one falls, other units may use it as cover. They will each have abilities, and most likely each mech will play totally different than the other. King Art Games have noted that they used both Company of Heroes and Dawn of War 2 as inspiration, which by looking at some of these screenshots, this is clear to us. Also, yes, veterancy. Being able to acquire experience for a unit and be rewarded with better stats is always fun to play with. The fun continues as there are destructible buildings because killing your enemy isn't enough unless you cover them in debris. I think you would agree with me on this that even in its early stages, Iron Harvest is looking absolutely amazing. But listen, 
The team that is working on this game is currently paying out of their pockets to support and develop Iron Harvest, which I give them a lot of respect for because it tells me that they love this genre and want Iron Harvest to succeed. With that said, they will be starting a Kickstarter campaign on the 13th of this month. This crowdfunding campaign has been put in place not only to keep the lights on, but to focus on the development as a company without a publisher that could potentially change the vision of Iron Harvest as we know some publishers do. If you liked everything that you saw or heard so far about this game, links will be in the description below for you guys to link up with this team and support them with everything that you got because, yo, seriously, let's make this game happen because it looks absolutely phenomenal. As already mentioned in the beginning of this video, I will be doing a lot of Iron Harvest videos, so stay tuned right here. If you have any questions, head over to the Facebook page or slap it in the comment sections below. Share this video with your buddies to let them know what is going on, and like this video to let me know this is something you're hella interested in, and I should definitely continue making videos about Iron Harvest. And as always, I'm Too Sketchy, and I'm out. Peace.